Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline and today's video is super exciting because I am filming a Q&A of all questions you guys have been asking me about my upcoming skin removal surgery. Um, and I'm so excited. We're literally so close to this next part of skin removal on my legs. And I did film two videos already talking all about this next upcoming surgery. I did one with my surgeon, Dr. Beck, and he kind of showed you everything like medically, how he's going to do it, where he's going to cut, where the incision is going to be, and all that fun stuff. And then I filmed a more like an emotional side of going through this next skin removal, how I was feeling, um, kind of being upset with myself and how I kind of overcame that. So I have those two videos already um, that if I don't answer the questions that you guys might have in this video, make sure you go check out those other two videos because there's a lot of information in those two videos as well. But in this video, I'm just gonna go over questions that you guys specifically have been asking me a lot about the surgery um, that kind of those other two videos don't have. So before I get into the questions, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I have a lot of videos coming up before my surgery that I have planned that I want to share with you, as well as lots of ideas that I'm going to be filming while I'm home recovering from this next surgery. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. And like always, if you have video suggestions, anything you want me to film, let me know down below. I'm going to be home for a few weeks, not doing much of anything, so I can definitely get some videos out that you guys want to see as well. Um, so make sure you like this video, make sure you're subscribed, and without further ado, let's just jump right on into this Q&A. So before I begin, the number one question I get asked, which I've posted about it, I've talked about in all my videos, but when is the exact date of my next surgery? So my next surgery is on March 21st. It's a Thursday, it's, and I'm super excited. So that is the date, that is when they're doing skin removal on my legs and we're going to start this whole process. So it's coming up, I'm getting nervous, but I'm also super, super excited. So the first question is what am I most excited about for this surgery and what am I the most nervous about? So excited, I think it's to have all of this weight removed on my legs. Um, it causes a lot of pain, there is a lot of weight. Um, when I was 500 pounds, I carried a lot of my weight in my legs, so it only makes sense that I kind of have a lot of skin now left on my legs, um, but I think I'm most excited to kind of just see my legs and all of the hard work I've put into training them, strengthening them, losing the weight from them, um, and actually finally being able to see the hard work. Um, I feel kind of the muscles deep down in there. I see them starting to pop up. Um, but I think just to have all of that weight removed and to actually see my legs is what I'm really most excited about. And then what I'm most nervous about is I think the pain and walking, I don't know why I always say this word and I can't say it, especially um, like right after surgery, like even coming home from the hospital and having to walk into your house and get into bed. Um, I think that's what I'm most nervous about is how it's going to feel walking. Um, but I know, you know, what I tell myself is the pain is not going to last forever and I'm going to be able to get through it. So that's kind of what's helping kind of mentally prepare myself for that. But that's definitely what I'm most nervous about is the pain and walking. So the next question is how long is my surgery? And my surgery is going to be about seven hours. So kind of long. The next question is, will I be staying overnight in the hospital? No, I will not be staying overnight. Um, I am going to be coming home the same day. I'm having a home nurse come home with me. I'll have the IV, the catheter, everything that you would in a hospital. Um, and the nurse is going to be taking care of me in my home, which is very good for me. I don't like staying in the hospital, haven't had good experience staying in the hospital, and being able to be in my own home and comfortable and have the nurse here I think is really good. So the next question is, am I having just my thighs done, skin removed, or are we able to go all the way down my calves into my ankles? Um, this is tricky, so we're focusing on just my thighs, but since the loose skin does go all the way down kind of to my ankles, um, he's going to try to go a little bit below my knee 
and get as much as he can. Um, I do explain this more in the first video with my surgeon and why we can't go all the way down, but he's gonna go as far down as he can and get as much from the calf area as he can, um, but it's mostly gonna be the thighs. But if you want more of that information, you can go watch the video I did with him. I'll have it linked down below. So then the other part of this is, is this the only surgery I'm gonna have for skin removal on my legs or is there like a part two or three or anything like that? Um, this is the biggest one, and I think it's going to have the most skin removed from this one, but I'm probably going to need to have an outer thigh lift, the skin removed from, like, the outer part of my thigh. Um, so it just depends how much he can remove from this time and how everything's kind of looking after this surgery, but more than likely there's going to at least be one more on my legs. So then the other question I was getting a lot is why did I just have liposuction done on my legs last time? So the last surgery I had on my legs was just liposuction. Um, and the reason we did this is because my surgeon thought it was best to kind of debulk and get rid of some of that to give the best results for going in and removing the most amount of skin. Um, so that's kind of what he recommended. I 100,000% trust him and what he you know, his plans for this. So that's what we did in preparation to get the best results for the skin removal this time. Also, my surgeon said to be doing it in two separate steps. So to do liposuction first and then skin removal after, it's a lot safer for me because you're not under anesthesia as long and you're able to recover from the liposuction separately than from doing a big chunk of liposuction and a big chunk of skin removal. So not only to give the best results, but it was also the safest thing for me and my body. So the next question is, are they doing both legs at the same time? And yes, we are doing both legs at the same time, which is why it kind of makes me nervous to like walk because you know, but I think it's better because I think if you do one and then the other, that would kind of suck. Um, so we're just getting them both done, getting done, in, out, done, together. So then this kind of brings me into the next one is how long until I can walk again and work out again? So the walking part, they pretty much have you walking the very first day you have surgery. Like I said, I'm not staying over in the hospital, so I am going to have to walk from like the wheelchair to the car and then from the car into my house. Um, and then they really want you walking and moving as much as possible. So pretty much you're up and moving the same day. Um, in terms of working out, I think it's about six weeks until I can work out again. But at that six week mark, my surgeon kind of evaluates and checks and then clears you for certain things. So last time at six weeks, he cleared me for more intense like walking or a little bit uphill walking um, from my stomach surgery. So it just all depends, but it's at least six weeks before I can actually work out again. So how much weight is gonna be taken off my legs is the next question. Um, I don't really know. I know it's gonna be probably a good amount. Um, my surgeon does a really good job at not kind of guessing this or at least telling me what it is because I can get very like, okay, well, if I weigh this much and he takes this much off, this is exactly how much I'm going to weigh after. And so he doesn't really tell me until after the fact or he doesn't want me to get my hopes up like, oh yeah, it's going to be around 10 pounds and then it's six and then I'm disappointed or something like that. Um, I know he kind of has a guess, but he hasn't told me, but I can share that with you guys after surgery if you're interested. Um, but I know it's going to be a pretty good amount because it is a lot. So the last question is, what is the recovery process like? Um, I know all of the surgeries I've had before, they're all kind of different. So I'll kind of tell you like what my surgeon kind of told me to prepare for for this surgery since... I'm not recovered from it yet. I have no idea what it's gonna be like, but pretty much it's just really focusing on keeping your legs elevated, keeping them wrapped in the ACE bandages, um, and really making sure to keep that whole area dry, especially when it's in the very inner part of my thighs. Um, that area can get kind of like, what? I don't know, how do you say it? I don't know, it's weird, I, but it doesn't, it doesn't stay dry very much. So one of the biggest things he told me is just to make sure that that area stays dry, keeping like a fan on it um, because you don't want those incisions getting like even a little bit of moisture wet and the incision could like open up. 
Um, so it's very important to keep especially that area completely dry, keeping your legs kind of like in a frog position, he called it, or they're kind of like out and open so the area really can keep the air flowing and moving. Um, making sure once I'm clear to shower, get it, you know, clean, make sure you really dry it well, um, and then just keep moving, um, drinking a lot of fluid, staying hydrated. Those are the biggest things for this surgery in terms of recovery that I'm supposed to be focusing on. But I can definitely fill you guys in, make another video about how the pain is, recovery, and all of that if you guys are interested. But in terms of what I'm preparing for, for recovery, that's kind of what it is. Thank you so much for everyone who asked these questions. They're really good questions that I know weren't answered in the last videos. Um, like I said, I'll leave those videos down below if you want more in-depth um, information or anything like that on my next upcoming surgeries. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that you leave other questions or video suggestions down below because like I said, I have a lot of good content coming. I don't want you guys to miss it and I definitely want to be filming what you guys are interested in or wanting to see. Um, I cannot thank you all for all of the love and support and comments and messages, um, especially leading up to this next surgery. They really, really, truly mean so much to me. Um, and like I said, I'm super nervous, but I'm super excited. I'm super ready. This is going to be a huge change in my life, um, both physically and mentally, to have all of this weight physically and mentally taken off my body. And I'm so excited to take you guys along on this journey and share with you more of my transformation. So thank you so much for all the love, support, um, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!